Hey, good morning guys. Tasha coming at you. Sunday, July the 30th and just after 10.30 in the a.m. And uh, we are at T-49 today. Another nice day. So, here's a look at that trailing arm this morning. Like I said, we still got a few bits here and there to clean up. It's looking not too bad. Gonna wire brush the inside of this cavity and in here as well. And I think what we'll do is we'll probably uh, nip out and get some uh, aluminum paint and give this a quick coat of paint and uh, a little clear coat as well. And then that would be looking much better. We have all new plugs for this um, and we have new uh, bumpers, bumper cones. So. Uh, We'll install those after we paint them, and they'll be uh, as good as new, hopefully. Anyway, um, I think before we continue on with that, that's kind of a side project, let's say I'll come back to you when I'm bored with doing something else. I think what we'll do is we'll go back to the A-post, and then we'll start doing a little bit of work on the upper A-post. And you can see that I've got some um, perforations here in the metal. The metal's pretty thin. Looks like it's had a repair here, I think, previously. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little wire brushing and see what the extent of this damage is. Hopefully it's not too bad and it's not going to be too much of a nightmare. I also need to do some repairs up at the top here where the uh, posts for the windscreen go through. You can see it's got some uh, tin worm here as well. So uh, a little bit of a repair is required there. So maybe we'll just work on this top area for a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to grab the wire brush, give us a quick cleanup and see what we've got left after we clean it. So there's a quick look of that area after it's been cleaned up a bit and you can see we've got uh, a fair amount of uh, holes rusted through here. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be some problems on the back side as well. This is kind of a two-part, uh, you know, sandwich metal. So I may have to repair this from the back side as well. We're going to cut this piece out where I've got it marked out. I also did a little cleaning up here and you can see that we've got some pinholes as far back as over here. So we're going to have to extend this patch out a little bit as well. But let's repair this piece first and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at this upper piece. See this has been the problem with this car all along. It's sort of a kettle of worms. Anyway, you uh, you know think you're going to have a fairly easy repair and just replace a bit of, little bit of metal and then you end up with something like this which is a heck of a lot more complex than just putting in a little simple patch. So basically rusted through from the other side. It's kind of a critical part because this is where the uh, the bracket fits for the windscreen mount. So you want that to be solid. So obviously that's not the case. So in order for me to repair this properly, I think what I'm going to have to do is I think I'm going to have to cut this section of metal out entirely to be able to get to that piece or at least be able to see it. I'm also going to have to unwrap this flange here from the top. So we're going to have to drill up some spot welds here and bend that up. So yeah, so what possibly could have been, you know, a half an hour repair, it's probably full turned into a full day repair, at least for me. Um, definitely needs some fabrication of something on the interior of this. So anyway, we'll have a better look at it once I get this outside plate off. I'll show you how much damage there is. Again, like I said, we're going to try to detach this top flange too and just bend it up so we can get a little more references about three different uh, uh, pieces of metal converging in that area. So uh, anyway, we'll start deconstructing it. And for those of you that might be interested on in what this looks like on the inside, let me just get some uh, light on the subject here. So there's what it looks like on the inside. If you can see that okay. So, you can probably see how difficult a repair this is going to be. Anyway, we'll get to it. Like I said, we'll start deconstructing. Just wanted to give you a shot of the inside of that. Yep, two words. Ugh and Lee. Sometimes the music playing in the background on the radio is highly appropriate for the task at hand. I believe the title of this song is Beautiful Disaster. So there you go, pretty accurate. So I'm trying to take it apart fairly methodically so I know uh, basically how it needs to go back together. 
it's a little bit difficult when there's bunches of metal missing everywhere but uh, I got the top flange piece off so that's the outside piece which is basically the top of this piece that I've just cut out here so that's how that top piece ends so now the inner structure uh, looks like it's flanged and bent over here now this is one I don't know if you'll be able to see down in there but that is one whole piece attached to the length of the B post so at some point I'm gonna have to figure out where to cut it off I would really like to cut it off just above this uh, captive nut here but I don't think the metal well, it's hard to say I don't know if the metal is gonna be good enough to weld in the upper patch to that that would be the best case scenario for me if possible but like I said I don't know if that metal is going to hold up to welding. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, we've got to get rid of all this crap up here. So we'll try to carefully remove that as best we can in order to uh, be able to make some sort of sense about how it needs to go back in there. I think I've spent half my time just sort of looking at it and trying to figure out how I want to uh, approach how to repair this. So anyway, uh, I've made the cut just above the nut there, the captive nut, as you can see, we'll repair these cut lines afterwards. So now this top flange is actually attached by spot welds to this flange here all the way along the inside. So I've just sort of ground down and exposed at least one spot weld that needs to be drilled out there. So what we're going to try to do is separate this from here and pull out this piece on top. We're going to try to keep it intact as much as possible. I still haven't done a vertical cut on this side. We have to figure out where we're going to cut it vertically over there. Um, but uh, we'll get to that after we get this flange separated. Alright guys, here's where we're at. Uh, there's that piece now removed from there. Came out not too bad, I guess, considering it's pretty difficult access. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty rusty. So definitely need a replacement. Like I said, it's sort of a critical area on the car. Anyway, we've still got a little bit more to replace up here, but uh, the bulk of it is at least out. So I think that metal is probably going to be good enough to weld to. It seems to be pretty solid, so uh, we'll sort of grind it down and see if we can get a good edge. And uh, the flange piece is actually looking not too bad. There's going to need to be a few repairs done to it, but it's probably usable, so that's a good thing. So uh, I guess we'll start trying to figure out how to make this patch. Um, but I'm going to have lunch first. It's already after about 12.15 so what did I start at 10.15 or 10.30 so been at it for a little bit now it's time to take a break we'll come back all right guys I've started the repair by trying to make a flange and uh, we've got one sitting in there not too bad <clears throat> still needs to be trimmed up a little bit here but uh, here's kind of what I'm going for on the inside so there's the flange just sort of bent in there maybe I'll take it out so you can see what I'm doing so there you go, so just like that. Let's see if I can pull it out. Doesn't want to come out now. Alright, there we go. So the first part of the patch is going to look like this. And then what I plan on doing is, if you can imagine that sits like that, then I plan on doing the front part of the patch and attaching it to this so it's going to be a two-part patch anyway you'll probably get a better idea of it once I get something tacked together but uh, that's sort of the direction I'm going anyway so we'll uh, show you any progress if there's any made all right guys so here's where we're at on the uh, second part of that patch so we've just got that now tacked to that uh, front flange piece that we made and I have to say so far I'm pretty happy I'm gonna to try to fit her back in there and see if it how well it aligns with the uh, bottom and sides. It should be good because I tacked it in place. So anyway, let me try to fit that in and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, so there's what it looks like in place. So looking pretty good down the bottom here. It's a little, maybe a tiny bit wide on this flange over on the left-hand side, but looking pretty good otherwise. So I think what we're going to do is we'll clean up these flanges on the inside and uh, We'll obviously finish welding that uh, piece. Um, we'll take it out to finish weld it. And uh, we'll grind that down. And then we'll uh, stick it back in there and uh, weld it in. All right, guys, we've got that uh, patch welded in there successfully uh, with no issues. So uh, just got it plug welded here on the uh, flange. 
and I probably need to do a little bit more welding on the flange. We did manage to get a bit of weld down inside as well and we did weld this flange up on the inside so it's pretty solid, much obviously much more solid than what was in there. We just sprayed it with some uh, rust converter paint in there so uh, we'll give it another coat before we go ahead and start uh, sealing up the outside parts and then re-wrapping it with the flange of the uh, top uh, saddle piece. Looks like I'm probably going to have to do some repairs on this now. This metal's pretty thin and obviously there's some repairs that need to be done up front of that as well. So, uh, and then if you recall, I've still got to do this area, but I'll be happy if I can just continue on this area here and get this looking more half decent before moving up to the top. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Good day to be out in the garage. It's Monday, July the 31st. Last day of July, we're at T minus 48. What does August look like? Huh. Anyway, uh, back on that A post repair. I think in one of my earlier videos I said B post, I meant A post. So disregard what I'd said earlier. So what we're going to do is start uh, covering that area back in. So I've just created a template here. I think we're going to do this in two parts because it's got a basically a patch here and then it goes pretty much straight up uh, with, uh, let me see if I can find that, uh, here's the area I took out previously. So that sort of patch goes up, whoops, upside down, goes something like that and we'll attach to that bottom patch. It's got the cutouts in it for the fender and um, windscreen fasteners. So that's the plan anyway, so we'll create this patch first, create this patch second, weld them together, then we'll have to wrap that uh, top flange back down. Obviously need some repair here and some repair underneath, so we'll do that secondarily. So anyway, we'll create this patch first, like I said, and uh, get started. Alright guys, we'll be back. Alright guys, we're making uh, pretty good progress. You can see I've got the uh, patch fitted in there and just sort of tacked along that top flange and we have the uh, cutouts for the uh, bolt holes so it's looking not too bad I need to do a little trimming on this side here to get that to fit in a little wide there but uh, not a problem so uh, anyway I'm pretty happy with that patch it um, it fits in there pretty well again it's hard to get it out when it's sitting in there properly so like I said just a little trimming and then uh, we're gonna spray the inside with zinc primer and we're gonna go ahead and weld it in all right guys, there's a final look of that patch, just uh, finished welded and ground down. I could probably grind it a little bit more, but uh, anyway, you can always bodywork this a little bit afterwards as well. Anyway, uh, I'm happy with that patch. Here's what it looks like. Just the back side. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to zinc prime the back side. And uh, I've drilled some uh, holes for some plug welds. So we'll... Um, get ready to weld it in. Alright guys, there's a quick look of that patch all welded in and uh, ground down. So now we're going to concentrate on trying to bend this uh, flange back down. Obviously it needs a repair piece here, but we'll see if we can uh, rescue some of this flange at least. So we've got the hammer and dolly out. We're going to see if we can bring that back down over the edge and we'll see what it looks like once we get it there. Alright guys, I'm quite happy with the uh, front part of this uh, flange repair. I've got it bent over back nicely. And we've got a good uh, line here. We fit the uh, fender again and it looks good. Now we need to go back and uh, fix this front flange area. You can see it's pretty thin along the top here. So we're going to cut it back and we're making a little flange piece. And we'll join it up to this flange. We'll weld it up the front here and we should be good to go. Then we will attack this rear section that we mentioned previously. And we'll cut a bunch of old scrappy metal and put some new stuff in there. But we'll repair this place first. They're probably going to take a bit of a break and then we'll uh, come back and we'll look at this area after. Great, right, we've got our little patch made. We're going to give it a little bit more clearance. We're just going to use the grinder to give it a little bit more uh, clearance at the top. And we're going to drill a few uh, holes in the uh, side flange for some spot welds. But other than that, it's looking good, fitting nicely. So uh, we'll clean it up, grind it up, get ready to weld it in. Oh, she's all over but the grinding. And we're going to do that next. All right, guys, the new uh, flange is in place and welded in and plug welded. Everything is cleaned up. 
nice and solid so I'm happy with that so we'll move on to the last repair piece of the top panel here which is this area here so I'm gonna try to keep some reference I'm gonna try to keep this piece over here at least for reference maybe we'll keep the try to keep the half moon it seems to be fairly solid and then we'll replace everything around it so we're probably gonna cut out a big square back here and uh, attach it back to the, uh, the half moon piece that's the plan anyway so I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and cut it out and then we'll uh, take a quick break and we'll be back out after we have a little rest all right guys we've got that uh, area cut out now and there's the uh, old old piece removed so we'll uh, fabricate up a new uh, piece to weld in there but we're going to take a quick break and we'll come back in a little bit maybe the elves will have made the patch by the time i come back all right guys we're going to call that uh, repair complete i'm happy with it so we've got the uh, hole cut now for the uh, post for the uh, windscreen so that's looking good it's looking a little less ragged than it did before nice and solid I'm happy with the flange piece I'm happy with the repair piece so uh, all in all it took a while and like I said it's a pretty complex area since there's about three different layers of metal all converging in this spot but uh, anyway I think it turned out pretty good so uh, I'm happy with it and uh, I think we'll call it a night and uh, we'll go in and have some dinner We'll upload this and we'll get back out here tomorrow. Have a good night guys. Thanks for watching.